If you plan to demo a Ricoh Theta at a booth at NADA, this is the video for you. We'll compare the Ricoh Theta X with the Ricoh Theta SC2. The 11K images of the Ricoh Theta X gives you much greater detail of the interior of the car for the dashboard and other controls versus the 5.4K still images of the SC2. HDR processing speeds where it merges the images together is much faster with the Theta X, despite the fact that the image is much larger. The 5 GHz Wi Fi will make the Theta X much easier to connect to your mobile phone at the show floor where you're going to have Wi Fi interference. The 5 GHz Wi Fi will also be much faster to transfer the image from the Theta X to your mobile device. The timer will show the lapse time for the 11K HDR image from the Ricoh Theta X. In addition to the stitching and merging time, we are also calculating the time that it takes to transfer the image to the mobile phone. Elapsed time is 7.2 seconds. We're repeating the same test with the Ricoh Theta SC2. 5.4K HDR with the Ricoh Theta official mobile app. The transfer for the SC2 is using 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. This is the only frequency available for the SC2. Despite the smaller image size of the Ricoh Theta SC2 and the lower resolution when you zoom in, the elapsed time was almost three times as long as the Theta X with 11K image. If you're demoing the Ricoh Theta in your booth at NADA, our recommendation is to use the Ricoh Theta X and set it to 5 GHz. The test was done with the newest versions of the firmware on the Ricoh Theta X and the SC2. Both were set to HDR using the highest frequency available for Wi-Fi with the highest res image resolution. We use a Samsung Galaxy Tablet A8 running Android 12 and the official Ricoh Theta mobile app version 2.6 on Android. We tested it in a co-working space with heavy Wi-Fi signals, so there was probably a lot of Wi-Fi interference. The SE2 is at a disadvantage because you can only do 2.4 gigahertz, but this is probably close to real world circumstance. Especially if you're going to demo it at a place like NADA, I wouldn't use the 2.4 gigahertz. I've had a lot of problems myself personally at demos. And with the Samsung Tablet A8, just to give you some candid feedback, I actually realistically had to connect the SC2 about 10 times before I was able to actually do the test due to the uh, Wi-Fi interference. But that's just a daily occurrence in our uh, office and I think in the real world for uh, the Wi-Fi. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and we'll try to answer them.